little better after what the offense did last week? You know, it's uh, uh, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, just again, proud of our guys and uh, how they competed, executed, and and uh, you know, it doesn't matter how you find a way to get it done. You, you find a way to win in a in a tough environment against a uh, really good opponent. It's a, a great day. Do you have to insist on Adrian doing that again, or do you do you think you can kind of get that performance from him without the conversation? You no, know, I don't. Uh, I don't think so. You know, I, I think we're again just, you know, every week I, uh, I think we're getting more in sync, more on the same page, learning more about each other, getting some things ironed out, you know, across the board, and and starting, you know, hopefully we just got to continue to, you know, uh, build on the momentum and and finding that rhythm that that he did and and we had on Saturday. What do you see from this Texas Tech defense? Uh, they're really long. Uh, they got great length, good size across the board um, at all three positions, all three levels. And, uh, you know, they're playing hard. Uh, you know, they're making some plays. And, and uh, you know, it'll, it'll be a good challenge for us. When Texas Tech is on offense, they like to go really fast. Is there any part of you that has to think about that while you're managing the game for your offense? You know, I, I don't think so. I, I think that, uh, uh, you know, I, I think we just have to focus on executing, staying on the field. I think that was as big a difference from our standpoint offensively as is what we were able to do last week is, is stay on the field on those third and fourth down situations and and give ourselves more chances and, and the ability to find some rhythm and the ability to uh, do some different things operationally. And so uh, and then ultimately finish with touchdowns, you know, because you got you, every offense in this league is explosive. They go fast and and uh, you know, I think we have the capability to, to not be any different than that. But at the same point, uh, you got to do it, and we got to finish with touchdowns in the red zone and be and be good on third down. <clears throat> Excuse me. How important is that rhythm that Adrian Martinez got into last Saturday? Uh, it's 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 important, you know. But again, it's uh, I mean, all those gears have to be you know in sync and, and firing. And yeah, he's the uh, you know he's the main focal point of that, and he's the one that has to to start that. But uh, you know, it's everybody, you know, uh, around him as well, you know, and, and uh, everyone just doing their 111th. On the uh, third and 16th that Adrian broke for the big game, in the back of your mind, did you think this could also work as a QB draw? No, as, as soon as we saw that it was going to go man, and, you know, that was definitely a, a possibility. And as soon as he broke through, uh, you know, when we were able to pick up that, you know, those twists and up front, I mean, it was as soon as he popped out, I was like, oh, he might be out. I didn't know it was going to go for 55, but I knew, uh, you know, we'd probably have a good chance to, to have a good run at the sticks. Coach, sticking back to last week, the term cut it loose was used a lot with Adrian. In practice, did you see him do that at some point at all? You're saying loose? Uh, Coach Kleiman said he needs to cut it loose and oh. play free. Did you see that at all last week in practice? Uh, you know, ab absolutely. I mean, I, I think, uh, again, you know, we've we've seen a lot of those plays in practice, you know, through, you know, his time here since very, very early. And so him being able to uh, do that and all of us be able to execute the way that he did and we did was was a lot of fun to see. Can you explain how that's maybe carried over to this week against Texas Tech in that preparation? Well, you know, it's uh, um, – it's one of those things, you know, obviously played played much better, made plays, stayed on the field in third down, got some good touchdowns in the red zone. But, you know, you go through the tape, there's still a lot of things that, that we have to be better at, you know, and, and it's that's the exciting part, right? And I think our guys have, have caught that and, and seen that and uh, know that, you know, there were some plays out there too that, you know, and some three and outs that, you know, we had opportunities to stay on the field and, and even have a better performance. And so... Um, I think that's part of the motivation too. Is is I, I truly believe we, we haven't played our best game as a unit yet, and I think uh, our guys have caught that as well. A little snake bit right now at the offensive line position, some bad luck. Uh, how much is that making you forced to maneuver guys around a little bit more? Well, you know, it's it, it is what it is, and and uh, you know, guys have stepped up. They're practicing extremely hard, and and uh, you know, those guys are. Uh, uh, you know they're, they're they're tough tough suckers up there and and you know right across the board and so I've uh, just got to keep developing some of the guys behind that front line and uh, you know obviously just keep plugging along. With as much as they've had to persevere through in a short amount of time, how impressive is it that they have a lot of sacks since week one? Uh, you know it's uh, 
I didn't even know that for exactly, uh, you know, but they, they, they've done a really good job, you know, and it's in their preparation during the week and, and understanding and seeing and feeling the blitz patterns in each protection and how the, you know, the different IDs go, um, you know, and, and playing hard. And, and they've done that every week. And, uh, you know, it, it was cool because obviously in, in such a harsh environment, you know, the communication standpoint from a quarterback to his O-line, uh, it sounds simple, but Gilly and, and Hadley and uh, Adrian and all those guys, they did a great job of, of handling that environment and making sure everyone was on the same page, you know, a lot of the time with uh, the environment and, and some of the tempo stuff we were doing, they, they did a heck of a job. Bone, you've been there before. Just what kind of advantage is it playing in front of such a huge crowd at Bill Snyder Family Stadium? Oh, it's uh, <laughs> there's no place like it, you know, and, and our fans are so passionate, so into the ball game and uh, and truly care, you know, not just about the outcome, but about our players and uh, the type of culture and, and young men we've had here and been fortunate to, uh, you know, have for a long time. And so, uh, you know, it's a it's, it's a special place for sure. Coach, when you picked up Adrian, the thought of him and Deuce in the backfield together and the <clears throat> stress that was put on a defense, did it finally kind of come to fruition last night? Well, I mean, there, there's no doubt. You know, there's no doubt about it. And, and it's something we got to keep building on, you know, and, and it's something that there's, I mean, there's next levels of things, you know, and, and sequences of things and different types of schemes and formations and all that kind of stuff. It, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was a great stepping stone. It was a great building block for us of, of seeing that some of that stuff come together for sure. How important is Gillum to initiate that pass protection scheme? Oh, it's it's critical. I mean, you know, especially it's hard when you're, uh, you know, when you are mixing up tempos and stuff, and guys are, you know, defenses aren't getting lined up or they're not lined up and set, and and making sure the quarterback knows where they're going to and who they're going to and who they're not going to, in you know, in certain situations and how to get the ball out of your hand. So, uh, his leadership, his his attitude each and every day with the, you know that he comes to work and. And uh, again, you know, he plays his butt off, you know, every snap. Texas Tech has been very strong against the run this season. Mm -hmm. From what you've seen, what makes them so hard to run against? I guess their length and their size. I mean, you know, they really, uh, you know, plug gaps up, you know, up front and, and uh, make it hard to stay on blocks because of that length. It's, it'll, it'll be a good challenge for us. Two more. How happy were you with how Benson have played and how can he kind of keep that kind of momentum going? Ben has great ball skills. You know, there will be times, you know, even in practice, he'll haul in a, a really, really tough catch. And, and uh, you know, we've known he's been capable of that. Sometimes, you know, in the past game, you don't know, you think you know where the ball could have a high chance of going. But, uh, you know, the how it worked out and, and through the progression and what the defense did, it, it went his way. And when it did, he, he answered the bell. And, did a nice job after the catch of, of uh, having great ball security and obviously getting us more yards. So we was very happy for him, and but not surprised at all. From your perspective, how important was was Malik to, to, to the win? Oh, I, I think it, uh, every every player that played in that game made a critical play at a critical moment to to help uh, the effort. And uh, you know, the thing I was proud of of Malik the most wasn't a touch, touchdown catch or, or some of the things he did that way of or the comeback or third down, whatever. But, uh, you know, it was how he blocked. I mean, I mean, he, he played 80 some odd snaps, I think is what we had him graded at. And, and he was, I mean, he busted his tail, you know, in each one of those on a, in a long physical, physical game and had a, a great mentality. So I was really proud of him.